Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to QNAP Live broadcast from our headquarters here in New Taipei. I'm Razon, and today here with us is our product manager, Jason. Hi, Razon. Hi, Hi. I'm Jason. <laughs> So today we are going to introduce our Q&A uh, QNAP network adapter, the UC5G1T, mm -hmm. which I have it here in my hand and it looks very good actually, it's very neatly designed and it uh, has a 5G base T port on one end, if you can see it here, and on the other hand, and it has a USB type C port here. Mm -hmm. And to compare it of the size, actually I have a phone here and it has a smaller size than the phone as you can see here it's very good actually mm -hmm. and uh, also for more information like the MAC address and the serial number and all the other information you have it here for in the, on the uh, yeah on the bottom side of it so to introduce it more I mean I will go to the PPTs as I mentioned this is the QNAP network adapter mm -hmm. it's very easy an extra network connectivity for your PC or for your NAS to enhance the speed and everything there. Yeah. So, uh, move to the next slide. Yeah, so, uh, there are several uh, occasions that uh, why you will start with uh, why uh, this uh, this uh, QLAN adapter can benefit mm. you in different situations, right? Yeah. And why you need to uh, such a higher speed compared yeah. to your existing one gigabit port. And then uh, on the second part, we're gonna look at uh, the product uh, specs, uh, information, and uh, how you can use it on various operating systems. Yeah. And the next part is, uh, okay, can I use it on the NAS and what can I do with it? Okay. So those are, this is the interview of uh, the today's session. Yeah, like right. three simple steps to better understand this mm -hmm. uh, new yes. device. Uh, so in this slide, you know, when you want to copy a 300 gigabyte of files, yeah. you know, video file, mm -hmm. how long does it take? Uh, so if you look on the right, on the left hand side, uh, if you are on a traditional one gigabit Ethernet, then it will take you almost an hour. Oh, uh, yeah. An hour long. It's okay. quite long. Uh, if you upgrade to a 2.5 gigabit, the time will be cut down, cut down to the, about uh, 20 minutes mm -hmm. or so. And uh, if you upgrade to 5 gigabit, about 10 minutes. And of course, you can upgrade to 10 gigabit, about 5 minutes. Oh. All right. So how? what is a, a, a good way and uh, economical way to cut down the time needed mm. to copy such a big file, yeah. right? Okay. And uh, you will see that uh, uh, in the market, there are more and more devices, uh, whether it is a, a computer, a NAS, uh, mm -hmm. or motherboard, or even the switches and routers. Uh, they all, s you start to see more and more devices come with uh, 10 gigabit and even 5 gigabit, and sometimes even in the future, 2.5 gigabit uh, port on those devices. Okay. Yeah. So the 10 gigabit and uh, 5 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit, they are no longer just a data center only. Because mm -hmm. in the past, they were very, very expensive yeah. with those and uh, only found in the data center. But uh, you see more and more devices uh, have this capability uh, in the market nowadays. Okay. And the price is getting more affordable. Okay. So uh, if you have one of those devices, how can you take advantage of uh, the high speed if you have a computer. Yeah. You know you want to reach such a high speed. You don't want to waste waste uh, those uh, capability, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, also, if you have uh, one of those uh, Macs and uh, the ultra portable surface computers, then you will see uh, the trend is that uh, the wired LAN port is getting removed mm -hmm. from those uh, uh, laptops. Yeah. Uh, so everything has to be connected wirelessly. Okay. However, uh, fortunately, the USB port, at least one, is still available on those devices. Yeah. Or we also know that uh, for the newer Macs, uh, the Thunderbolt 3 ports can also work as a USB port. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it can connect to a USB device. So uh, with the availability of a USB port, it allows you to connect to uh, some many accessories to extend the functionality of the computer. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So what's the drawback if you connect to if you are only on wireless right so for example uh, if you are in your hotel room or lobby then where is the, the Wi-Fi signal is so weak yeah. or even if you are connected you know to the Wi-Fi but the connection is very very uh, unstable yeah you know uh, drop drop out of signal and also uh, unstable file transfer speed okay uh, another scenario is that uh, when you go to uh, visit an uh, office 
and uh, or if you go to your friend's house uh, if you are not connect to the Wi-Fi then uh, chances are that uh, the Wi-Fi is encrypted yeah and you need uh, to enter the password okay but uh, sometimes uh, if there's an available LAN port I mean LAN port uh, somewhere yeah. you can just simply connect and then get the access for the internet yeah, definitely. Okay? so sometimes uh, wired uh, LAN is uh, more convenient than the wireless and uh, not restricted to the uh, environment okay? so that leads to us uh, to uh, why QNAP is uh, building the USB to 5G Ethernet uh, USB dongle mm -hmm. you know for use so users can easily install it on their computers and the NAS so how about let's look at let, let's uh, start with uh, its uh, product uh, specs and mm -hmm. then let's go uh, one by one and then go to the applications later all right, right. so here uh, you will see the the dimension that uh, around show you was very small you yes know, we is, showed uh, yeah earlier. so just uh, that dimension and the very light only 110 11 gram okay very light and the speed uh, is multi speed so as you can see there is it is capable of 1 gigabit mm -hmm. 2.5 gig and up to 5 gigabit oh. okay, so it really can uh, speed up your file transfer time okay so for you it's just a small investment to get a high speed yeah and just utilize the USB 3 port like I we see earlier that all those devices still have a USB port available so mm -hmm. you yeah. can easily connect this to them okay and uh, the housing is made of uh, metal so it can really help with the uh, heat dissipation yeah and uh, also with the fanless design so uh, there's no noise available okay yeah, zero noise so this one is without a fan no fan at all, all. Right. Yeah. and uh, so even in the high speed transfer you just get warm a little bit mm -hmm. okay so you can still continue to use it uh, day, and, day and night okay, okay. so uh, we talk about uh, USB Type C, right? Yeah. And uh, why do we choose with USB Type C? Because of the uh, versatility. Okay. Okay. So with a Type C, you just need to change the cable, and you can connect to many of the host computers, mm -hmm. the devices. You can see there on the right hand side, uh, Windows PC, MacBook Pro with a Type C, yeah. and uh, QNAP NAS with a Type A or even Type C. Okay. So. Uh, in the product packaging, we provide uh, a 20 centimeter uh, USB 3.0 C to A cable oh, for okay. you to connect to a Type A host. But uh, you can also purchase the optional C to C cable for the Type C connection. Okay. okay. So here is the overview of uh, what uh, you get. Uh, so of course you get this Q and A device yeah. and the uh, USB cable and uh, installation guide. And then uh, the optional accessories including the one meter long USB uh, 3.0 C2A yeah. cable mm -hmm. and for C2C uh, it's, it is a better spec in the 3.1 Gen 2 oh, C2C okay. cable uh -huh. okay, and those are the other parts you can purchase uh, later okay. okay so these are optional like yeah those are optional purchase so right. for example if you need a longer cable mm -hmm. or if you need a C2C connection then you can uh, purchase these optional ones okay so how does it work you know how can I connect uh, this Q&A to my computer so here's the, the you can <laughs> look at the picture on the right yeah. so your computer must have a USB 3.0 type C or type A yeah okay and uh, there's a uh, you connect a USB cable from the computer to the type C port on the Q&A mm -hmm. And on the other end, there's a RJ45 uh, LAN connector, so you connect it to your local switch, the, your local network, yeah. or you can even connect to another computer with RJ45. Oh, okay. You can do a direct uh, connection. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, this device allows you to uh, quickly and easily build up 2.5G and the 5G wired connection to okay. easily get the the high speed, and let let you. Uh, reutilize the existing USB 3.0 port on your computer mm -hmm. so it is uh, uh, very easy to uh, be connected and uh, also it is bus powered so yeah. you don't have to carry another power brick to provide power for that All right. mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, as you can see with a small design it is very easy to fit, be fit in your pocket you yeah. can take it everywhere <laughs> yeah. and can s because of the metal housing so it is basically uh, shock resistant so oh, you don't okay. worry about getting dropped and then bro broken yeah uh -huh. okay and uh, so let's take a look at what's inside 
So this is a Q&A is based on the AQC111U uh, chip. Okay. So it is an all-in-one single chip solution that combines the USB 3.0 and uh, the 5G, the multi-gigabit network here. As you can see there, uh, look at the middle picture. Uh, for the host computer, you need a software driver installed and we'll get to no, we'll get to uh, how each operating system needs a driver later. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the IC itself here in the middle one is uh, the 3.1 Gen 1, which is 3.0 to uh, the Ethernet. Yeah. Okay. And then as you can see there, also has a various uh, technology to help you offload your network transfer. So it doesn't uh, consume your host computer CPU resource as much. And then uh, below will be the four speed the Ethernet connector. So up to 5G speed, you can connect to your network. Mm -hmm. And uh, you may think, wonder what is the MBST, the multi gigabit. Okay, so as you can see, it is backed by many uh, compu uh, company such as Cisco, Intel, Linux. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. And also, uh, many of the consumer products already you see have uh, the multi gigabit interface uh, on board. As you can see, that there are many uh, brand companies already yeah. uh, shipping devices with uh, 5G or 10G or 2.5G capable devices. And most likely they are from the same Akonsha company. Yeah, <laughs> so you, uh, for uh, guarantee that you get a guaranteed compatibility between uh, these uh, various devices with these high speed links. Okay. Now another advantage with the uh, 2.5G and 5G will be the cable wiring. So uh, as you can see here, uh, you can go all the way up to 5G without changing your current cable. Yeah. Okay. Up to 100 meter. So with this, uh, you can uh, you don't have to spend uh, uh, extra money to rewire your own office, your your house. You can simply purchase the Q and A device, mm -hmm. uh, put it into your computer and your network, and then boom, using the same cable, you yeah. get the same uh, instant uh, five times the, the speed. Okay, compared to the one gigabit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, here on the right, you will see uh, we also. Uh, put in a speed indicator so you can easily troubleshoot. So as you can see there on the left LED, yeah. uh, if the LED is green, that means it is connected at a 5G speed. Uh -huh. But any speed below will be the amber, so kind of like an orange, uh -huh. color, orange color. Okay. And on the right will be the link and activity. So if there's a data read and write, uh, data transfer, then uh -huh. you will blink. Oh, it will right? blink. Yes. Uh -huh. So that's the advantage of this. And so how can we easily build up uh, the USB to 5G application? So here's an example. So uh, many uh, photographers and uh, video editing studios, they, are, they may work uh, with either uh, a Mac or a Windows. Yeah. So I'll take this as a Windows example. So on Windows computer, you may install Adobe Premiere to edit your uh, video mm -hmm. or even your Photoshop for your photos. In the past, uh, without a Q&A, you are limited to the one gigabit, yeah. right, with the LAN port, because uh, I think uh, most of the laptops only one gigabit LAN port. Yeah. Okay, and you probably don't won't want to do it over the wireless network. <laughs> <laughs> too slow and too, long, too much interference, right? And so once you put in the Q&A device to your Windows PC, mm -hmm. then instantly you get a 5G connection, right? Through yeah. USB to 5G, yeah. and then uh, on your network, you can uh, purchase, you know, look at our QNAP 10GB switch. Okay. And then also, many of, of our QNAP NAS, when you buy it already, one of the network port is already 10 gigabit. Okay, mm, yeah. there's no extra cost. It, actually, it, it is already on the NAS itself. It's integrated there. Yes. So, uh, this is instantly, it boosts boost your product, productivity four or five times more, yeah. higher, because uh, after you finish editing, you can back up much easier. You can even open up a file on the NAS directly and then edit them, you know, online editing at yeah. a 5G speed. Wow. So it is uh, very convenient and uh, fast. Mm. That's very now, powerful. Yes. And uh, speaking of the 5G, you know, in the previous slide, we talked about uh, there's no need to change the, your existing cable, right? Yeah. So you may wonder mm, how much longer I the cable can go and still maintain at a 5G speed. Uh, how, how much? <laughs> yeah, here, 100 meter long. Oh, okay. So you can still maintain 100 meter, I mean, you can still maintain at a 5 gigabit speed, even at a 100 meter oh, long okay. distance. 
and uh, with our proven uh, tests, uh, even when you are in a higher temperature, up to uh, 40 degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. there, uh, the speed can also maintain at a higher speed. Right. So whether you live in a desert or somewhere in the Southeast Asia, no problem. No problem. Yeah, no if problem you live in this cold you. place, <laughs> cold place even no problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, now another uh, trend is that uh, many people play games. You know, mm -hmm. they yeah. a lot of them they they buy the gaming PC and even they carry the gaming desktop to have a gaming party. Oh yeah, when they go to events or to play. Yes. Yeah. So if you are gaming laptop does not have the 5G speed and or if you are portable desktop computer a small one but very powerful graphics has no uh, 5G speed mm -hmm. don't worry about it you just buy this uh, uh, Q&A device connect to a USB port and then you can get instantly 5G speed to give you a much faster data performance mm. okay now so uh, how can you install the QA on various uh, operating systems, right? Yeah. We have a uh, Windows, Mac. Oh, it Nick, supports Linux. like di different uh, operating yeah, systems. Yeah, all the it supports all the major uh, operating, operating systems. systems. Yes. So, for example, okay. here starting with the Windows, uh, thirty-two bit, sixty-four bit, uh, Windows seven and later. Okay. So we will provide uh, the QNAP official uh, driver mm. that uh, you can install it uh, when you get it. Okay. okay. You can get it. Uh, uh, from the dongle itself or it's built in and also you can download it the latest version from the QNET website oh, okay. uh, we'll talk about it later and if you are an Apple Mac user um, don't worry about it uh, right now when you connect to Apple uh, Mac uh, it is no official support yet mm -hmm. but uh, uh, the good news is that uh, Apple is going to integrate it soon in its operating system oh. so just uh, wait and then uh, keep uh, uh, pay attention to our product page and okay. then uh, you will, we will update when the official Mac OS version with the native support will be avail available. Yeah, that means that, uh, what does it mean that you don't have to install drivers, it will be there yes, in the Apple plug product. And play. Just plug and play. Yeah, but uh, not in the current uh, release, you have to wait. Yeah, we have time. to wait, just to follow our QNAP page and when we release the news and mm -hmm. yes. can. Yeah. All right. And uh, if you are a Linux user such as Ubuntu, then you can download it from the Aquantial website and then install mm -hmm. it. So okay. let's get to the details. For Windows computer, uh, when you connect the QA to the Windows computer, if you have never installed a driver, mm -hmm. then you can open up your Windows File Explorer, go to, uh, you will see a virtual CD ROM device. Okay, we'll show it later yeah. in the demo. And from there, you can uh, find the driver that is shipped with the dongle. Okay? Okay. Then you can install from there. You don't have to go to our website and download it. Oh, and install. Right. It is already, uh, we'll put the uh, default driver there. Okay. okay. Or you can also uh, in download it from our QNAP download center from our website. Okay. And then, so basically when you uh, click on to run the program, you just uh, build a software license agreement and agree to it. Mm -hmm. And then you can finish the installation. Yeah, it's oh, a very yeah. small file. Right? Yeah, it's very fast. Also, mm -hmm. it's like what three steps? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, for Linux PC driver installation, you just go to this uh, Aquantia's website and go to support uh, driver, and then select the product name as the uh, AQC One Eleven U, mm. and then you can download the Linux uh, driver and to install it on your own. And uh, currently, this need various Linux kernels uh, versions are supported. Right? Okay. So you may wonder how fast the performance is, right? So this is what we test. Uh, we have prepared two Windows computers. Okay. Each one has the QNA installed, and then they transfer data to each other. Oh, so here okay. you will see uh, both for both the download and upload, uh, 422 megabyte per second. Yeah. Nice. So performance is four times faster than the, your existing mm. one gigabit. Uh, network yeah, yeah. Uh, we just uh, very simple to install a USB port and a driver installation then boom you got a, such a fast speed right okay. and keep in mind is that uh, uh, always have to set your uh, network adapter MTU to jumbo frame to MTU 9000 oh, okay. this is to get the best performance and also your uh, network environment the devices your network environment also has to be set at the same 9000 uh, value okay, okay to get the best performance so how about here let's try to check the performance okay yeah do we do a demo yeah all right okay all right
It's ready. Set there. Okay. So here, just to first, uh, I want to show you when you connect the QA to a Windows computer. Here, you will see there's a CD drive, CD one drive here, yeah. right? And then uh, there's a QA driver there. You just double click it to run the installation software. Okay. And then you have the, the driver installed. And then the, your Windows can recognize it. And uh, once you have uh, installed it, then uh, I'm gonna first I'm gonna show you how the performance will be. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, I have this Windows computer installed the QA, and I have also prepared a NAS, the TVS 951X. So let's take a look at the 951X. The TVS 951X it has a built-in uh, 10 gigabit port on the NAS itself. Okay, it is yeah. integrated 10 gigabit port. Also based on the same company, Aquantia, but a different IC, 107. Because it can provide up to 10G speed. But you will see here, because uh, my Windows computer has only 5G, okay, 5G, the level speed here, okay. So how about let's do a performance test and see what we get. All right. Okay. So here I have a 10 gigabit, uh, 10 gigabyte file here. Okay. Big file here. I'm gonna try to upload it to the 951X and then see what the performance will be. As you can see here, the data write to the NAS is about uh, 400 megabyte per second on the 951X. So you can see, uh, I already get a much higher performance yeah. on the 451X. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the first demo I'll show you. You know, just uh, buy this Q&A device installed on your PC mm -hmm. and then you can instantly uh, link together with your uh, 10G NAS and then instantly uh, jump from 1 gigabit per second to a 5 gigabit per second. Yeah, okay. It's very convenient, I mean, yes. for uh, any user, like from mm -hmm. individual user to small businesses to everyone that can uh, wants to utilize the services of uh, faster speed, why not have this one? Yes. And uh, what about uh, Mac users? You know, we are not forgetting you. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have an uh, older Mac computer with a uh, Thunderbolt 2, right? Yeah. Uh, if you look at a Thunderbolt 2 to 10G adapter, it's very, very, very expensive. Mm, okay? Yeah. So, but don't worry about it. Uh, your Mac must have a USB 3 port. Yeah. Okay. So you just uh, connect uh, the QNA device to the USB 3 port on your Mac. Yeah. Then you can easily get uh, 5 gigabit speed uh, with this adapter. Mm -hmm. You don't have to buy those expensive Thunderbolt 2 to the 10G adapter. Yeah. And uh, those other older adapters also have the 10G only. It does not support, the, many of them does not do not support the uh, multi gigabit. Okay. So you okay. are stuck at the 10G, okay, mm -hmm. 10G only. So with this, uh, we can support the 5G, 2.5G, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if you have a newer Mac, New Mac has what? Thunderbolt 3. Thunderbolt 3, right? yeah. Thunderbolt 3, look at this here, MacBook Pro and iMac. These all have the Thunderbolt 3 ports. And then many uh, photographers and video editors, they use that for uh, video editing, photo editing, right? Yeah. Very convenient. Uh, okay. And also very high speed. So, how can you take advantage of the high speed Thunderbolt 3 port? Okay. We have a solution for this, right? Yes. <laughs> and it's already in the market. Oh, it's, right? yeah, it's, it's there, market. right? Yes. Okay. So QNAP uh, launched uh, uh, also already has this in the market. We have a Thunderbolt 3 to 10 gigabit Ethernet adapters. Yeah. We have uh, two models, the T3, T3, 10G 1T and then 10G 1S. We'll yeah. look at the difference later. So to use it also very simple. If you look at the picture on the right hand side, mm -hmm. uh, on your Mac, there's a Thunderbolt 3 port, the Type-C Thunderbolt 3. Yeah. So you connect the Thunderbolt 3 cable from the Thunderbolt 3 port to the QNA Thunderbolt 3 port. Mm -hmm. And then on the other end, you have a 10 g Base t and also 10 g SE Plus. Yeah. Depends on what the model you use. So it depends which model it has a yes. cable, all yeah. right? So with this also, uh, uh, it's, it is also very compact. You know? Okay. Yeah, you can, if you compare our Thunderbolt 3 adapter to the uh, market uh, other devices, mm -hmm. it is very compact, easy to be carried. And yeah. then also performance is also good, up to 10 gigabit. You can look 10, at the yeah. performance later. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And Actually, so these yeah. are the yeah. information you asked about uh, different ports. So with the T version, it's 10 G based T, but yeah. five speed available. The 10 G, 5 G, 2.5 G, 1 G. Uh -huh. 
and then the uh, S version with a 10G SAP Plus if you are on the SAP Plus interface yeah. because uh, some of our analysis has a SAP Plus interface yeah. or if you have a switch with SAP Plus you can use that okay yeah. also as a adapters and uh, I, I've had it in my hand actually it's also metal yes this it's is also, also metal, metal, metal yeah. on the on the major part there major part yeah and it's also very convenient uh, for carrying it around because it, it it is not big like it is small it really fits in your hand and you can carry it around everywhere mm -hmm. so it's very convenient yes and it is also a uh, bus powered so you don't bus need to powered. connect additional uh, power supply to it yeah mm -hmm. okay. okay so let's take a look at the uh, LED mm -hmm. indicators yeah. also again uh, we have uh, the LED to indicate your current uh, link speed. Yeah. So on the left uh, LED, you have a, if it is green, then it means you are connected at a 10G speed. Uh, if you are in a yellow or the amber, you are connected at a 5G or lower. Okay. okay. And on the right will be just a link and act uh, to tell you if it's the being transferred. Okay. Yeah. And uh, on, the, on the other side here, it's the same for both models. There's a Thunderbolt 3 port there. Okay. Yeah. And then there's also a power indicator to tell you if the it is if there's a power available. Okay. okay. Uh, let's take a look at the other one. Now, uh, for the driver, this is uh, currently already gets uh, the Mac OS native support. Mm. So if you are on this Mac 10.13.3 or later, mm -hmm. then it is plug and play. Plug and play. It's connected, yeah. and then Mac OS can recognize it. Yeah, right. this was my question earlier. So it was for these kind of models. Uh, you just connect it with the Mac and you have no issues. I mean, no, you don't have to go through the process of install. Even though with the Windows is, uh, Windows uh, OS is really easy to install also. Yes. As uh, we can, uh, driver uh, installation are required as here. The Aquanshas, for example, for the T310G1T, AQC 107. 107. And for the T310G1S, for the SFP Plus port, mm -hmm. it goes for the AQC 100. Yes. So yeah. where, where do you get this? Uh, you just go to the same Aquansha website ah, same and Aquansha. go to the support and driver download and mm -hmm. select the, the matching uh, IC model. Okay. And you can download the Windows driver program. All right, yeah. and the new one will be to the news will be like when the new QTS will be released with the 4.4.1, it will support also this. Yes, uh, for the Thunderbolt 3, if you want to connect to a NAS with the Thunderbolt 3 mm -hmm. port, then uh, wait for our upcoming QTS 4.4.1. Oh, yeah, okay. And then uh, the NAS will be able to recognize it and then use the Thunderbolt 3 to 10G feature. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at performance. As you can see here, uh, when I connect to a, a Windows computer uh, with that, and then set a jumbo frame to mm -hmm. 9000, then you can see it's basically fully saturated, the, yeah. almost the 10G speed. Right? Went to maximum. Yeah, 1000 megabyte per second. Mm -hmm. So this effectively uh, trans transform your Thunderbolt 3 to the 10G network. Yeah. So your Mac or your Windows can uh, have access to your existing 10G network and yeah. then to download BIOS at the lightning speed. Yeah, All right. Windows download it, upload yes. and download anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so yeah. let's uh, about our Thunderbolt 3 to 10G adapter. Yeah. How about uh, you want to install this Q&A on the NAS? Right? Oh, how do you do that? Yeah, it is also very easy. But uh, if you are install it on the NAS or on your computer, mm -hmm. uh, first you have to make sure the other end of the device also has the matching, you know, capability. Okay, yeah. You now, if your PC or NAS only has a one gigabit port, yeah. you will be limited to one gigabit, right? True. And unfortunately, uh, if uh, your PC or NAS has a PCIe slot, yeah. Okay, then you can look at our QNAP uh, PCIe cards. So okay. we have uh, two varieties. First one is a QNAP QM2 cards. Mm -hmm. With a QM2 cards series. Uh, two models available uh, with a 10 gigabit port. Yeah. So the first one is a QN2 2S 10G 1T. That means uh, besides the 10 port, you also get a dual dual M.2 SATA mm -hmm. SD port. So yeah. you can install M.2 SD and then for the SD cache yeah. or even QTier. And the second model gives you uh, PCIe NVMe SSD support instead of the SATA. Okay, so yeah up to you to choose what kind of M.2 SSD you want to use. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, if we also have a pure 10 gigabit uh, network interface card, the QSG yeah. 10G1T. 
So it is also based on the same Aquantia yeah. with the AQC 107 IC. Mm -hmm. So you can get up to a uh, 10G speed. Okay, you can see there 10G 5G. Yeah. So uh, just make sure that uh, if your computer or NAS has a PCIe slot, then don't waste it. Just uh, yeah, check out this our one. Have a card, and then so you can get a higher speed to go uh, with the QA device. Yeah. Okay. So what if uh, your computer has uh, no PCI slot? No problem. Uh, <laughs> first of all, this one has a PCI slot. Uh, it is very easy to install. I mean, okay. you just uh, basically make sure your NAS, what kind of bracket the NAS uses, right? Okay. And then you just change it because uh, when you buy our QNAP card, we include all the brackets yeah. for you, so you can replace it and install on the correct right, uh, correct NAS model. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, if you think this is too difficult for you, okay. or if your NAS has no uh, PCI slot, okay. or if your computer has no PCI slot, don't worry about it. You can install this on any NAS models that uh, has a USB 3.0 port okay. and QTS 4.3.6. Oh, okay. The future version of QTS 4.3.6 will support the Q&A device. Oh. You don't have to wait till 4.4.1. So okay. you can do that with the yes. NAS. Yeah. So this is a very good uh, if your NAS is an entry model, mm -hmm. you know, we have a many entry model, very good value, right? Yeah. And then uh, they only have a USB port. There's no PCI for you to install the card, right? So you are stuck with a one gigabit port. But yeah. uh, with a Q&A now being available, you can just uh, use the USB port and then connect the Q&A and then well you get uh, uh, almost 400 megabyte per second okay. with that okay because in the past you only get 100 200 megabyte per second with the port trunking mm -hmm. but uh, now you get uh, just one single you don't have to give out one single USB 3 port <laughs> on the NAS and you get a 400 megabyte speed all right Amazing. and to know what the NAS has a uh, QTS 4.3.6 uh, Check out the website and then we'll tell you what NAS can be upgraded to 4.3.6. All right. Now, uh, so when all the NAS models and computers with those these high speed uh, interface, what can you do? So here's a, a scenario that you can apply. Uh, as an example here on the top, uh, you have a TS451 Plus, which has an Intel quad core processor, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can connect the QA through USB interface to it then you instantly get a high speed performance and you have uh, other 10G NAS available and then for NAS then without a PCI card you can purchase the QXG 10G 1T installed on the NAS to get yeah. a 10G speed and together to go with the QNAP uh, 10G switch solution and so instantly your entire network is a 5G or 10G ready mm. right depends on the different uh, point so it is a very uh, good uh, high-speed uh, solution for uh, your co-workers and data collaboration, project mm, collaboration yeah. and also very easy to share and back up your file in a short time and why do I say that? look at this one uh, with a QNAP uh, virtual J bar right? yeah. uh, if you are using uh, the gigabit network uh, for data transfer it can be just uh, slower uh, because with the virtual JBAR, basically it allows you uh, the NAS to use the iSCSI technology, the okay, network yeah. technology, to mount a remote NAS, the capacity, and then use it on uh, its own. Okay. So you can create the uh, info, uh, data on it and then use it. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you add the QA to uh, NAS, then instantly you have a 5G high speed uh, uh, virtual JBAR usage. So basically, uh, help you speed up your time. Now also when you do a, a data backup with a hybrid backup sync, so with a 5G speed also allows you to finish your backup job much quicker over the network. Yeah. And also when something happens uh, for a disaster recovery, yeah. also can short be shortened uh, much quickly. Yeah, because uh, you know 1G and 5G is really yeah, it's big difference. difference. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now uh, let's say if you don't get a switch right now, and then you have a, a PC and the NAS. How can you connect those two together? It is also very simple. You just uh, buy two of the Q&A dongles, right? Okay. And one for your NAS, one for your PC. Mm. If your yeah. NAS does not have 10G, then on your uh, Windows computer there, you set a static IP uh, there, and mm -hmm. then 
you install a Q9, Q9 Pro, then you can find the NAS through the direct LAN cable connection. Yeah. So these two devices can be linked at a 5G speed. Mm. Okay, so you can uh, work with the NAS data file much quicker. Okay, so this is the direct direct connection. way to connect uh, between PC and the NAS. Now, what's the UI look like on the NAS management when you connect a QNA? So, QNA NAS, the QTS has a very advanced uh, network and virtual switch function. Yeah. You know? And from there, we give you a visualized uh, settings that you can uh, check the network adapter. So on the picture, you will see that uh, on the adapter 9 there, uh, there's a Q&A like icon there already. It tells you there's a, a adapter, q and adapter there, right? Yeah. And then uh, you can also uh, edit the NIC uh, directly. So you can uh, uh, check the, the data bandwidth information. Mm -hmm. You can configure as a, a dynamic IP address allocation or static IP settings. And you can also check the current uh, information and the hardware information. And uh, we do not limit you just to install one of the q devices. Actually, okay. you can install multiple ones. So oh, you can see on the yeah. picture there, as long as you have enough USB ports. And uh, our q NAS has many USB ports. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the middle and the high one has yeah. many USB So you can install many of the q &As. But uh, to keep in mind that uh, because this USB is a plug and play, yeah. so if you install a q &A on a QTS, uh, you some functions will not be supported compared to a traditional LAN port, okay. or if you com compare to a, a LAN card, you know PCI okay. card. So these functions will not be supported, such as uh, port trunking. Oh so man. you can uh, do a network uh, port teaming, a network teaming on those uh, multiple QNA devices. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot use it for a DHCP server because uh, once you remove it, then all the DHCP clients will get uh, no IP anymore, right? And for the authentication, the IDVD server is also not supported. And also, staggy route will not be supported. So there are some uh, limitations uh, mm -hmm. for a QA when you come into a QTS. All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, with all the information, QA is really the best device to help you save your money yeah. if you upgrade to a higher speed. Just look at the illustration here. Uh, you have a 10G switch, the very affordable QA 10G switch. Yeah. Right? <laughs> And uh, with your existing LAN cable on the NAS, you just need to buy a PCIe card or the QNA adapter to upgrade it to a 5G or 10G speed. Okay, on your computer or server, again you buy the QNAP uh, 10G network card or the 5G USB adapter. So on both sides, after you have finished upgrade, you easy you can uh, instantly upgrade to the 5G or higher speed. And then they can really uh, save you time and money on the data transfer. Yeah, and it's very resources. cost effective. Yes. And so, um, so previous uh, demo, we look at the performance when you connect to a Windows computer, right? Yeah. And what's the performance when you connect to the NAS? To the NAS. Right? You want to show us? Yeah, it's uh, similar here. So here also you can see that I have connected this to a QNAP NAS and then uh, through USB, you know, this USB yeah. QNA and uh, still can get uh, over 400 megabyte per second with this so mm -hmm. performance is really really the same as the uh, when you connect to a windows computer okay. yeah so let's take a look at the demo okay we do a demo for this one test. all right yes oh. okay so we okay. have the demo now yes right. so uh i have the prepare uh, tvs 1282 so I have a connected uh, QNA here. See, you see adapter nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here, as I see, uh, okay. you have a QNA uh, dongle here. This is on the network version switch. Mm -hmm. So if you look at this, uh, let's locate button. Okay. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I mentioned that uh, you can install multiple uh, QNA on the NAS. Oh right? yeah, or yeah, Multiple yeah. PCIe network yeah. card. But uh, you may not know where you install it. Right, QNA yeah. they all look the same. What if you install three of them on the NAS? Okay. Which one? Which adapter is which? Oh. Right. So, locate means uh, see here it blinks now. Oh, it will tell you which position. So it tells is you there. yeah where this adapter is oh, installed. Okay. So help you locate the the device. Okay. Now, uh, if you click on the settings here. So this is the settings you can configure the IP address, IPv6, and then all the other various functions here, right? Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you go to the interfaces here, then it tells you uh, all the different network ports are available. So this one you here you will see the built-in and also the add-on uh, network cards. Okay. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, this is number nine. Oh, let me maximize it. So here is a number nine here. Yeah. And you will see that uh, five GB speed. Okay. Okay. Five GB maximize uh, five gigabit. And the model name is a QNA here. You see five G uh -huh. multi. And then. Uh, one thing very neat is that uh, you can actually monitor the bandwidth going in and out of oh this yeah? interface. So I click on the activity monitor here. Mm. So here you will see the res resource monitor. You see how much traffic is going in and out of this adapter. So it really helps you monitor the traffic with that. And uh, the configure, I just show you, I'll skip that. And then the last one is information. So for information here, you have uh, the current settings mm -hmm. overview. So give you a broad overview okay. of this and the uh, hardware information, uh, all the speed, the main address, and the uh, uh, jumbo frame information. Yeah. So this uh, is the overview of this, and let, let's take a look at the performance, okay? Okay. So uh, again, here I have a, a local disk with a, a 10 gigabit file available, yeah. and I have a map. Uh, a NAS, this NAS with QA device here. Okay. So let's try to upload a file and see how fast the performance is. Okay. All of it? Yeah, 10 gigabyte. Uh -huh. So you can see uh, the NAS with the QA still maintains mm. a 400 megabyte per second. Yeah. So the QA is really, really a, a good investment to mm. instantly boost your NAS network performance mm. with just a single USB 3 port, right? Yeah, it's very stable actually. Uh -huh. so. so, okay, so let's finish our demo. Let's go back to our slide. All right. Okay. So, so today uh, I have uh, finished all the introduction. So, yeah. here look at uh, the current uh, QA series we yeah, have. Yeah, that right? we have the 5 gigabit Ethernet one and the 10 gigabit Ethernet. Like mm -hmm. Today we introduced mostly, we talked mostly about the QA UC 5G 1T the for, the, for the latest member of this series that yes. we have which uh, as uh, Jason showed us the demos and everything that is actually very stable and a very good investment to increase your speed from 1G to 5G. But not only that, we have the, also the other uh, opportunities which we provide with uh, two models that are actually on the market right now. Mm -hmm. The QNA T310 G1S with uh, users with RJ45 and base T connector mm -hmm. and the other one if you are with the SFP plus connector as mm -hmm. we mentioned some of uh, many of our NASs also support the SFP plus connector uh -huh. and using it with Thunderbolt 3 if you are worried that you have if you have MacBook Pro 2017 a later version then if you want to have faster speed if you want to reach 10 gigabit per second speed you can choose either of these so we have all these three members this family of QNA uh, network uh, adapters to increase the speed and uh, as we showed we conclude this uh, video for today with the UC 5G 1T mm -hmm. is the USB 3.0 yeah so that's a reuse don't forget your USB your offering USB 3.0 port and then take yeah. advantage of it with our new latest uh, QNA USB adapter yeah okay so this will come uh, soon to the market also yes. and uh, for thank you for watching everyone and thank you jason for explaining it to us mm -hmm. and if you want to watch this video or many other videos like this just visit our website live.qnav.com by typing the right keyword depending on which product you want to see mm -hmm. also subscribe on our youtube channel and like our facebook page so thank you for staying with us see you next time thank bye you everyone bye bye